<laughs> Welcome to the Rated G for Gamers podcast. Before we get started, uh, just a reminder, um, you guys can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google Plus at Rated G for Gamers. And you can email us at Rated G for Gamers at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. It's episode 81. I'm your host, Dave Rotino. This is my co-host, Dan, the podcaster, formerly known as Classic, Robinson. What's going on, man? Before uh, you talk, before you say a word. You didn't even give me a chance to say a word. Before you say a word, let's start the show as we always try to start the show oh. for 81 episodes oh. and always fail, but we will not fail on the 81st. Uh-huh. Dave, what are you playing? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. I am deep into Mario Kart. Still. Still. Loving that Mario Kart. A, a, a two-year-old game. <laughs> two that, 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 Technically, yeah. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Well, I never, got, I never got to play it on the well, Wii U. I never got to play it on the Wii U. Even though I have the Mario Kart uh, Wii U bundle with the game already preloaded on the system, uh, I never really played it that much. So I'm going back and just... Having a great time. Like it's a brand new game. Well, you, you well, you had a birthday recently. Uh, I did. I did. We had a little uh, had a little shindig here. Had a little shindig here. Um, well, let me apologize in person. Let me just apologize in person. So I know we missed last week. That was on me. I got a little sick. I can't help it. I'm a human. I'm not an alien. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you know, you contrary had, to yeah. what some people may think, I'm not an you, alien. You had to work. I had, had to work. work. I was working a lot. I was sick. I mm-hmm. missed the birthday party. Apologize for that. Happy birthday in advance. Thank that you. You don't turn 46 every day. Ha, Happy ha, 37. birthday. 37. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's get the record straight. All right. Yeah. Episode 81. I turned 37. Potato, <laughs> potato. 46, uh-huh. 37. Uh-huh. It's in the same realm. Look, look, look. No one ever said Danny was good at math. It's, it's okay. Yeah. I'm not a, I'm, I, you know what? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not the best at math. I wasn't the best. So... Mm. Uh, happy birthday! This Thank is the you. Birthday episode, the the belated birthday episode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll take it. Take so, uh, playing Mario, I gotta say, is Mario Kart like your game of the year so far? Because you've been playing that more than anything else. No, you know my game of the year so far. So far, half year. The game of the half year. You know, we voted it as game of the half year. I know you wouldn't even get to the nominees. No, nah, <laughs> like Breath of the Wild. He just went straight for it. Yeah, yeah, so, I did. I did. So, so I'm glad you said that because that's what I'm playing. Oh, still, love it. I know. I took two love months it. off. I mm-hmm. couldn't. You know, listen. We had, we we had Horizon Zero Dawn. We mm-hmm. had a bunch of games come out, and I wanted to give Zelda its due. I did play it when it first came out, and then I took two months off. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am sort of stuck in that desert dungeon. That boss is the biggest. People say that's the hardest in the, dungeon in the in the A. Yeah. Now let me ask you a question because mm-hmm. I, I I've. He's killed me like I, no, no exaggeration. He's killed me at least twenty times. Oh, oh, oh! The boss. The boss. Oh, the boss is tough. Yeah. He's killed me like twenty times, mm-hmm. right? So, and I and there was that one time where I had him at like a couple of hits, mm-hmm. and like for some reason, like uh, Link just wouldn't put the shield up when like in time, which uh-huh. drove me insane. I'm like, I'm pushing the button, uh-huh. put the shield uh-huh. up, uh-huh. so I'm, I can, cause cause when you put the shield up, he like comes down and he doesn't hit you, right? Cause mm-hmm. the shield is up, so mm-hmm. it drives me. It drove me insane. Like, can I leave and come back just to the boss and not have to actually, you know, hit the switches for the dungeon? Uh, that's a good question. I think everything stays. If you need to go back and get items and equipment and whatnot. More shields. Yeah. Because sh- those shields break. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're okay, but don't quote me on that. Because I don't want to have to go back with the sand, with the with Oh, the, yeah, with no, the seal, you don't want to have to keep moving the thing around. With yeah. the seal, then go, yeah, I don't have to, mm-hmm, I want to do all mm-hmm. that. So I'm, Understood, yeah. So, so, all right, so I've done that. I've mm-hmm. been playing a lot of that. And, surprisingly enough, I've been playing a lot of Hey Pikmin on, well, I put 3DS, but I've been playing it on the 2DS XL. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. You brought that by today. It, it looks did. it looks super cool. I like the, uh, like the two-tone black and blue. That's kind of nice. I like that too. What what I don't understand is a lot of YouTubers <laughs> saying um, you can still put fingerprints on it, but it has like that cheap plastic. It's not like that metallic stuff mm-hmm. from the original uh, 3ds and new 3ds. There is no you don't really have a lot of fingerprints on that one. Yeah, because it has the rigid edges on the top of the the, the system. Mm-hmm. So I don't really see it. I like the little two tone blue and black, and the top of the screen looks like an, a small iPhone, mm-hmm. right? Without the button, it, it kind of does. All, all it's yeah, it's missing that little fingerprint scanner. A yeah, little universal button on there. Yeah, so I, I mean, I I like the new 2DS XL, and I transferred every, I transferred my uh, my profile from my new 3DS XL mm-hmm. to my 
new, well, not new, but my 2DL, 2DS XL. XL. It's weird, man. I got to tell you. Nintendo. Look, look, look. I, I, I ain't going to fault you because there's like 29 different million ones, you know. They're going to put a faster processor and call this the new 2DS XL. And Knuckles. And it's just going to be. <laughs> it's going to keep adding on to it. keep adding. Just, just kill this yeah. and put everything on the Switch, please. Oh. So, uh, so I've been playing Hey Pikmin. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's just get into a quick review roundup on uh, Hey Pikmin. Yeah. Uh, I actually. You're digging it? Semi dig Hey Pikmin. I like okay. Hey, I like okay. the Pikmin series. I like Hey Pikmin. Uh, you guys a 68 on uh, Metacritic. Mm. Uh, IGN gave it a 68. GameSpot gave it a 60. Destructoid gave it sort of a really high. Out of the major outlets, gave it a high 70. Game Informer gave it a 60. GM gave it a 65. Uh, Nintendo yeah. Life gave it a 60. English Gamer gave it a 60. Well, I mean, it's consistent. The scores are consistent, at least. You know, everyone seems to be in agreement. It's pretty good. I like the game. It gets game. a little boring, I will mm-hmm. say. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the platforming, sort of with using the Pikmin, trying to figure out how to get to this place, because you can't jump. Right. Um, but... <laughs> He's a spaceman. He can travel throughout, throughout yeah. all of the universe, but can't jump. You can't jump. Um, you're like I don't know. You're microscopic. You're small because you get to find these big things, these big items that humans use, like a shovel mm-hmm. and a clock and NES carts mm. <laughs> that are like three times the size of you. Mm-hmm. Um, those are like the special items that you find in in each world. Uh, I will say this. You know what? You, you know what? Game scored just as much or not a little bit higher. I know the answer. You know it. I know the answer. Don't order 1887, baby. 1886? Six. I'm already jumping ahead <laughs> they, to 87. They have yet to make a sequel. I'm already jumping ahead to 87. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go with the order. Oh, boy. No. Yeah, and that's like that's like your favorite game of all time. So. Listen, man. Hey, Pikmin's got to be like right below it. It's got to be your number Hey, Pikmin in order 1886. I'm going to get nominated for Game of the Year every year <laughs> until someone gives oh, it. Oh, boy. Until you, know, you know, eventually we're just going to all have these, like, mediocre games you, that get nominated for you know Game what? of the Year. <laughs> you know what? You know what? It's like the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Once you get rejected a certain amount of time, they just put you in. Right. <laughs> it's like a write-in. <laughs> <laughs> we, feel, we feel bad for the Order 1886. We're just going to give it. We're going to give it Game of the Year status. <laughs> we're just going to write it in yeah. for a belated Game of the Year. Like I said, belated birthday. So, <laughs> right, right. Uh, so, yeah. So, hey, Pikmin, I think it's a... Pretty good game. It's a little boring, and I gotta say the game, the the, the gameplay is a little because you need to touch the screen to use to control the Pikmin. Mm-hmm. And I gotta say, it is awful with the 2D 2DS 2DS XL uh, stylus. That's like I don't know. It's like the size of a half a pinky. That thing is like so <laughs> small and hard. And, and made for made for smaller hands is what you're it saying. It is. It is. It is. It is made for Alf. Yes. Okay. It is. It is. Yeah. What are you talking about, Willis? It is made for uh, for Webster. So uh, it's it's Webster. It, wait, 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 Arnold. Arnold Webster. You, you, you're, all mixing the up, you're, you're making up your little people. You, you know what? You know you're what? Mixing up your little people. You from know the what? 80s. I even, have to correct you. Even the, even the guy from Game of Thrones, like he he, he would think the, the uh-huh. stylus is too small. <laughs> so I just use my finger. Mm-hmm. I just use my fingers. Screw sure. the stylus, sure. Screw the stylus. I don't care. Yeah, about I mean it works. It works just as good. I think you know. So I got I got uh, Mitomo. As well, Mitopia, mm. Mitomo. No, it's Mitomo. Mitomo. That's right. I have not played it yet because I've been heavily into uh, Hey Pikmin. Mm-hmm. So, uh, all right, Dave, are you any game pickups in the last two weeks? I'm so glad you asked that, Danny. Uh, I did. Uh, surprisingly, uh, I had some very good pickups. Uh, if you saw on the Instagram, I did pick up Tekken Four. Finished out the PS2 collection with Ratchet and Clank. I uh, picked up another Armor Core game for uh, PlayStation 2, which were, uh, which were pretty good. There were some nice little Goodwill pickups. Um, this last week, surprisingly, my boss came in, who is a gamer, um, so he gets extra points in my book. And uh, he brought in his old Wii collection in a nice big old bag with, uh, you know, controllers and nunchucks and wheels and Guitar Hero uh, um, controllers and a stack of games. And he goes, anybody want this old stuff? My wife doesn't want it in the house anymore. Obviously, he came to me first. And, and Dave did a backflip. I did. I did do a backflip. And, you know, I did I did the nice thing. I said, hey, look, if anybody else wants any of this stuff, go ahead. Otherwise, I'll, t- I'll take everything. You know, and everybody at work knows, you know, we do the uh, the podcast. You know, we're but wait, both, we're but both wait, big retro wait, collectors. Wait, wait, I'm going to put Dave's uh, kindness to the test. Okay. So if he would have said, I have all these NES games the wife doesn't want. And there's little Samson here. <laughs> 
with, with Dave said, hey, does anybody want any of these games before well, I'll take it all? Uh, come on. You can't put me on the spot what about, like that. What if they had Flintstones 2? You can't put what me on the spot Flintstone, like that. What if they had Chip and Dale's 2? Well, they wouldn't. But, but no, 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 they no, 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 They wouldn't. No, no, like what if you 0.001% no, 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 chance no, no, to no, have no, that no, kicking no, around. No, no, it's, no, 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 no. What if he had I don't know Chippendale Rescue Rangers two I don't know little little Samson and the Flintstones two where Dave had said Hey does anybody in the office really want want to, want to bust down on this and take all some right, of these all games? right you know what I would do you know da- what I would do I know what you would do Dave would have took little he would have took little Samson Flintstones two and Chippendale Rangers two and, and held that in his hand behind him as he said Hey does anybody else want to take anything else here <laughs> that's on this table <laughs> No, 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 no. Here's what I here's what I would have done. Not say here's a word. I would have <laughs> I would, I would have been like, oh, uh, I I, I kind of want this Flintstones game. I kind of want this Little Samson's game. I think I'm going to take these if you guys want anything else. Because A, they probably don't know how rare those games are. Because if, if you're not in it, you don't necessarily know, oh, this game is super rare. So I would have kind of played it like that. I would have played it like that. I would have been sly. You're right. I would have been sly with it. But... This is how I would have played it. Uh huh. Right, and you, this one, I want you to listen carefully. Uh huh. Okay. Just, just, just bear with me. Okay. You know what the sound? You know what that sound is? What's that sound? That's the sound of me taking all the games and dumping it on my desk. Ah, there you go. Spoken like a true greedy retro gamer. You damn right. And I, I don't like, blame you. And I would have been like, "Thank you." I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Little yeah. Samson. Coming home. Mm-hmm. Flintstones too. Coming home. All right, all right. So, uh, you, sure, sure. And I would have probably, I would have probably done something similar. You probably would have done something similar. In this case, you know, uh, really, just uh, one of my one of my coworkers took uh, like a GameCube controller and took a um, like a nunchuck and uh, really is Wii he remote. A, con- is he a retro gamer? Uh, he just, you know, he still plays the Wii. The Wii still hooked up and whatnot. Gotcha. So, you know, he'll yeah. he'll use it. You know, play a little, play a little Smash, play a little Mario Kart or something. You know, I'm like, all right, all right, that's cool. All right, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. Um, so I haven't really been playing anything. I've been playing with the new 2DS XL. Mm-hmm. Um, just you know, is that is that that your new? Is that your new? Like whenever I go out, I'm taking the 2DS XL. Yeah, actually, yeah. I'm not even taking the Switch. Mm-hmm. I've been taking the 2DS XL. I've been I've been playing Pikmin. I haven't gotten to Mean Tomo yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I put Zelda down because I lost 20 times to this boss. <laughs> I may have to come back to this one. Got to get up uh, on my level, I need man. more shields. I need more shields. I, sh- I, I need I more shields. The, the, shield. the Jedi Master will teach the Padawan. The, the, whatever. I got you, you. If I was playing this, I got, if I, I was playing I this got straight, you, I would have... I got you, Anakin. Oh, if I was playing this... Oh, well, you know, Darth Vader, thank you. Uh, if I was playing this straight, I would have I already beaten it. So, uh, uh-huh. But I took two uh-huh. months off, so it's okay. All right. It's all right. You know, it's fine. It's, okay. it's fine. So, um, so what's going on in the gaming world? Before we even get into the news... Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You came by earlier today... You, I would be, I would be remiss not to ask you about the haul that you had today. Well, thank you. I, yeah, I mean, you, you, you came by with a stack of games so, and, a, and a smile from ear to ear on your well, face. Well, you know where I was today. Well, and you know what I got. Well, listen, it is a pretty good haul. I will have to say. Well, it was, it was okay. I always, I mean, I told you about this haul like know. last summer. I know. And you said it was too far. Is I flush in Queens. You live in Brooklyn. I live in mm-hmm. Queens. It's just a bus ride away from me. Right, right. Uh, you know, it's a guy who raids storage lockers, and mm-hmm. he has like a big garage sale uh, behind like a department, uh, not a department store, but like a supermarket. supermarket yeah, yeah uh, they, they have like a, a line, just like a row of garages, right? Mm-hmm. So it's uh, kind of like storage wars. Yeah, yeah pretty, bit, pretty much yeah. something like that. So every time I go, it's always I'm the second wave because the first wave of those guys who scalp stuff for uh, eBay, right? Uh, they always weak. go for the consoles weak. because he, he he gets rid of the games. He doesn't care about value. I'm sure if he had an NES Classic, to, I could still get it for twenty bucks, right? Because he would count it as a console because mm-hmm. he sells consoles for like twenty bucks and he sells games for like two dollars mm-hmm. a piece, right? So you know, I got the slim pickings. You know, as people had games in there, you know, has had systems in their arm, uh, the same guys I see all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I picked up uh, Churn and Burn for a Game Boy, OG nice. Game Boy. I have the uh, Super Nintendo version of that. Uh, I I will say these scalpers mm-hmm. they missed a bunch of PS One games, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna go with the shovelware first go because ahead. I picked it up. Why not? Right? Yeah. I picked it up with everything else. Uh, Major League Baseball Pennant Race. Mm-hmm. Didn't even know that it existed on PlayStation One. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also picked up Hardcore Four by Four. Okay, looks like a good game That's actually. A decent game, yeah. I uh, picked up Battle Tank Global Assault. Nice. That one, I, I can see myself actually playing that game. And the illustrious Wesley Snipes mm-hmm. in Blade 1 for Ooh. PS1. 
and I have Blade Two for the OG Xbox. Uh huh. Uh, I also picked up Jam Pack Demo Disc Volume Eleven. Mm. I have a bunch of these uh, Jam Pack Demo Disc for like summer and winter. You trying to go for the full set? Uh, I don't even know how many <laughs> of them they released. To well. be honest, I mean this is Volume Eleven. Mm-hmm. I only have like five other ones, so I doubt mm-hmm. I have Volume, you know, two, three. I I, I don't have. I definitely am nowhere near eleven. <laughs> so uh, I have. Now you said you knew this game, Secret Weapon Over Normandy. Sure, for yeah. the original Xbox. Yeah. I didn't even know this was a thing. You know, it's a it's a it's a pretty solid like dogfighting uh, World War Two uh, plane shooter, okay. I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. Now, you know, if you like like Crimson Skies and that kind of stuff, it's you know, it's kind of fun. So I got also Xbox Live Arcade Unplugged. Mm-hmm. And uh, actually, this has Geometry Wars in it. You said. Yeah, it does. So it's just a uh, pretty much a collection of uh, arcade games. Mm-hmm. On a, on a three sixty disc. Which is pretty cool. I, yep. I thought I had this because the the cover art looked familiar, mm-hmm. but I don't I don't have it according to uh, my app. Mm-hmm. Uh, this Hellboy: The Science of Evil didn't even know this existed. Mm-hmm. Don't think this came out in connection with the actual movie. Really? Oh, that's interesting. Because um, the movie, they only put two movies out. They're going to reboot it, so we won't get our favorite actor to play uh, Hellboy replaces his role in part three. That's 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 upsetting on that on that on that little side note. Because uh, my God, was he great! But this came out in two thousand eight. I don't know mm-hmm. when the second movie came out, but I doubt yeah, it the was second movie came out a little before that. I think. Yeah, so I'm this definitely sure. this definitely had nothing to do with uh, the actual movie. This mm-hmm. could have been just like Ghostbusters three. This could have been Hellboy three. What the uh, movie should have been. You right. may be right. You may be right. We have this plot. You know, we got to do something with it. So it actually does come with the free Hellboy, the Golden Army movie cash inside. Mm-hmm. The Golden Army. Golden Army was the second movie. Yeah. Well, it says it has the, the movie cash inside. I don't know what that means, movie mm-hmm. cash. Can probably I... probably used to redeem to see the movie. Okay. So maybe this it may out. have been a tie-in for the game. But Maybe this did come out with a movie. But, yeah. this, but the copyright says 2008. Yeah. Interesting. We got to look that up. You know mm-hmm. what? If I'm wrong, please tweet at us and tell me how much I suck and not a Hellboy fan. Thank you. Wow. There you go. Spoken spoken from the mouth of babes over here. There we go. <laughs> tweet so, at uh, Rated G for Gamers and let us know. So, also, have a uh, Rally Sport 2 Challenge mm-hmm. for the OG Xbox. Mm-hmm. Comes with everything, even the manual and special, uh, mm-hmm. the special uh, preview, uh, preview cover manual. What's your favorite game? Like, Voodoo Vince is in it. Oh, fantastic. Uh, I got ETV4. Mm-hmm. Off-Road Fury for a PS2. And the coup de grace for me, Jack into the demo disc, not for resale for PS2. Nice. And I also picked up a PGA Tour Golf 2. This is really dirty and dusty. needs some cleaning, but it had the case. So I figured I'll take it with me because it's been sitting there for a long time. Mm-hmm. I know it's been sitting there for a long time because I've passed on it several times going to the same garage <laughs> sale. So I said I picked it up. I mean, $2, why not? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I had a pretty good haul. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So, uh, you know, just I want before we get into the news, uh, we're gonna get into this YouTube controversy. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you heard what's going on with the completionist, and you heard what's going on with the Angry Joe, mm-hmm. the Angry Joe show, mm-hmm. with their, you know, just. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to weigh it down for the fans a little bit? Well, let's go with the completionist. Let's go with the completionist because you're a big completionist fan. I, I I I like Gerard. I think he's awesome. Um, I do like Alex. I think he's I think he's pretty cool too. I liked. Like everybody on the crew, everybody who appeared in the videos, all the uh, the guests, you know. Uh, they recently did something with uh, Pro Jared, which was kind of cool, for The Secret of Mana. So, I like those guys. Apparently, uh, Greg, who was in, uh, I guess, the first 120 videos. Well, he's they, more than, he's, he's in more than 120 videos, but he... Well, well, he's in the, he's in the first uh, completionist yeah, because he, he, he was a and part and of the company. It was him and right. Jared, who I think, who started the company. I, I, I believe so, and they've apparently had a falling out. Uh, Just over the direction of the of the channel and the company overall. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, and they, they kind of, they used to be friends. Now they're not friends anymore. So we don't know the particulars of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it was, like you were saying, it was with the direction of the show. Um, they kind of butted heads one too many times, and they decided to split. Um, it now, was not amicable. So, I mean, no. they, they are not friends any longer. No, sadly, sadly. And now Greg is basically put up like a cease and desist. Is that is that pretty much uh, appropriate? Anything so, with his likeness, voice, or anything that had to do with him, he wants 
either uh, monetization or he wants taken down because uh, no one can make money off of it. So Jarrett has decided not to fight it mm-hmm. and to take down 120 episodes of completionist videos, right. which war- he was monetizing off of. Right. And I guess they couldn't work out pretty much. They couldn't work out. Just, any any sort of deal or compromise yeah. or whatever, and so, I'm sure it seems like there was a lot of behind the scenes that he was trying to hide from the fr- from from his from his fans, uh, which is understandable. You know, you want to kind of you want to keep the drama to a minimum. You want to keep the channel what it is. But he video will games. do the 120 videos over again within the next six months, right? Right. Uh, so if you've watched if you watched the channel recently, put up a lengthy video about what was going on. Really, was just open and honest about it. And yeah, he's going to redo all 120. Like, Godspeed. From scratch. And still, and yeah, he's going to do he's new scripts and everything. 120 games. On top of the videos that he's already putting out like mm-hmm. once, twice a week. Mm-hmm. So Godspeed. That's going to, I mean, don't die in the yeah. middle of doing it because yeah. that's, that's a lot of work. <laughs> More power to you, Gerard. Well, he's, he wants, he's doing it because he wants to stick it to the other guy. Well, sure. I mean, I would that do too. It. I would, I'm Gerard. You're the other guy. <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm not Greg in this case. You're Greg. You're Greg. <laughs> All right. So, what is the uh, what, what's what's there's there's other controversy going on too, right? Yeah. There, there's the Angry Joe. So mm-hmm. Angry Joe videos. I never watched really any Angry Joe videos. I heard a lot of people put him up there with AV, uh, AGV, uh, AG, Angry Video the Angry game Video nerd. Game Nerd. Yeah. AVGN. Say that ten times fast. AVGN. 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 I can keep going. <laughs> you yeah, you, you say it eleven times fast. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, some people actually like him over Angry Video Game Nerd, mm-hmm. which is mm-hmm. blasphemy. But that's I, I think the I point. think hey, Angry Video Game Nerd, James Rolfe, the number originator. One. Number one, no more. Right. He's the old school. What He's, do you mean no more? I said number one. Oh, number one, of course. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, 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 yeah. But apparently, uh, you know, Angry Joe's wants to take a break because, as you well, you maybe maybe you know, maybe you don't know, but making these type of videos takes a lot of work, mm-hmm. time, effort, mm-hmm. money. Editing, yeah, and he's taking a he wanted to take a break, and he had a whole backlash from his audience, mm-hmm. where they pretty much said you're lazy, you're a YouTuber, we should be getting videos like every day, and people don't understand it takes research, props, money, time, editing. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I mean, you know, he was you saying, gotta write a script. He was saying he was putting in eighty hour eighty hour weeks. You know, typical work week in America, forty hours. You know, he's working double yeah. time, working overtime. Yeah, I I get it. And that's fully but, within his right to do so. But what he messed up is he announced that he was taking a vacation right. only for two months, mm-hmm. right? July and August, and mm-hmm. he'd come back in September with, with more reviews. Mm-hmm. It's not that he was going to have anything, any content. He would have movie reviews, things that take less time to make. Mm-hmm. But if you look, and he even showed a chart. If you look over the, over the last nine years, mm-hmm. he's usually slowed down with his angry video game over the over the summertime. Over the summertime, right. regardless. So if he just wouldn't have said anything, he probably wouldn't have had a backlash. Yeah, I mean, he was trying to do the right thing and be like transparent with the fans. I think, right, and be like, "Look, I'm going to take some time off. Just want to let you guys know." Which I thought I thought was cool. You know, I thought that was great. You know, more power to you. And then the fans just go back and say, "You know what? No." No, you work for us. They, he doesn't. He doesn't charge for any of his videos. He's not beholden to any sort of schedule, you know. But I will say the algor- the the YouTube algorithm change is has hurt a lot of people. A lot mm-hmm. of people are either leaving YouTube or just you know not even starting, right? They're not even starting the channel, not starting. It. The algorithm now is less about how many hits you get. And more about how long you keep people on YouTube. It's about yeah, it's about the, the length of engagement from from how long you're watching the video. Yeah, so mm-hmm. the, so if, I would say if you had two videos a week that are like forty to forty five, forty minutes to an hour long, mm-hmm. you know, you would be high on their recommended list, right? Yeah. So because you, you you got at least two a, two two videos a week plus the length of time that you keep people on. Mm-hmm. So I I just. I don't know. I mean, we can get into the whole YouTube algorithm change. That's, that's a whole nother story. We could be here for an hour. Mm-hmm. But uh, I will say the man needs to breathe. The need, he needs fresh ideas, mm-hmm. right? And it's that whole thing when you do when you do this type of work, it's, you know, we're doing it for fun. Yep. So everything we do is for fun. Mm-hmm. We're not doing it for hits. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's the reward of should I do this game because I'm going to get a lot of hits or should I do this game because it's going to be a lot of fun? Right, but you got you know, and if it was just you, you'd probably do it just for fun. Mm-hmm. But when you have a staff to pay, 
because this is everyone's full-time job, you're going to take the hit and do games that probably you wouldn't do all the time. I mean, look, when you do anything video game related that has to do with being angry, that means that game is bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're not. You're definitely not playing Mario Galaxy. No one's going to enjoy... Well, no one's going to enjoy you playing Hellboy The Science of Evil <laughs> on Xbox 360. I don't think so. <laughs> right? So, you know... I'm sure <laughs> Angry Video Game Network, we laugh. That's uh, Those are awesome videos. Mm-hmm. But those games must be painstaking right? to actually play right. and write a script about. There, there was a toll taken. Barbie the game on NES. I have. It's horrible. Yeah. I can't play more than 20 minutes of it. I'm surprised you even played 20 minutes of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I don't know. Like, give these, give these guys a break, man. Mm-hmm. They, they, they deserve a break. Because, you know, we want fresh stuff. We want stuff that's great. We want stuff that's come to heart. We don't mm-hmm. want stuff that's manufactured that mm-hmm. they're doing just because they have to do it. Then it's not going to be as memorable. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's just my two cents. A hundred percent. I'm 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 with you on that, too. You know, we wish we wish Joe the best on his, on his little, little little vacation. Uh, we want you to come back well, because bigger he's, and better. Well, right now, he's afraid to post anything else like movie reviews or anything smaller that takes that doesn't. That, that takes a little bit of, you know, not as much time as those angry video game. Right. Everybody everybody angry, wants the angry video game reviews. Sure. Yeah. So he, he's afraid to post movie reviews because a lot of trolls online are going to just downvote it. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's affecting his bottom line because he has overhead to pay. Right. So come on. Give the guy a break. Yeah. Yeah. Let him take a vacation. You weren't going to get, I mean, you weren't going to get angry video game, uh, you know, reviews anyway. Right. So just right. give the guy a it's break. His, it's his downtime. It's like it's like listen, there are no new episodes of things coming out right now, mm-hmm. right? Nope. It all comes back in the fall. It all comes so, back in the fall. You know, give him give him a month, give him whatever. You know, he'll come back bigger and better. And uh, you know, we wish you the best, Joe. So uh, before we go to break, uh, we just want to give a big shout out to Barrel Full of Games. Uh, you can find him on Instagram and YouTube. He hit us up with a free beta code for. The new Final Fantasy The City of Fighting game for PlayStation 4. Very excited to hit that up and try it out. So check him out. Uh, he's Barrel Full of Games on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, and we'll be right back with the top gaming news of the week. All right, and we're back. So let's take care of uh, some disappointing news. Just like everyone else two weeks ago, all of our SNES classic pre-orders from Walmart have been officially canceled. Done. No mas. I was kind of pissed. I was holding out hope. I was I was trying to be the the the, the, the voice beacon. of positivity. Yeah, the I was like Dave. Home. I was like Dave. No, 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 they're not canceling every pre-order. They're canceling the late ones. No. We're, we're good. We're no. good. We're we one of the lucky early. ones. We got yeah, no, we're no. one of the lucky ones. No. And then Dave calls me and says, hey, uh, no, we're not. Everyone yeah, they canceled, canceled everything. I you got an official letter from Walmart, and that was the nail in the coffin. You know what? Screw Walmart. If you want to get your NES Classics, go to Amazon. Yeah, that's right. Or Best Buy. or Anywhere about. else. Anywhere else. You suck, Walmart. Yeah. I don't care. Your apology sucks. Mm-hmm. You don't have a save 20% off like everyone else. Nope. Even go to GameStop. I never thought I'd say that. Go to GameStop. Get your pre-orders there. Uh-huh. So, Nintendo uh, sort of uh, released a statement saying that uh, SNES Classic pre-orders will be at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. So, when we get towards the last week of the month, everyone just keep... Well, okay, no. Listen, don't keep checking. We'll keep (laughs) checking, and we'll tell you on the week of the next week's episode, that week after, that you should start pre-ordering. Oh, no. Come on now. You know they're going to go in, like, minutes. All right. Yeah, it's going to go in, like, 20 minutes. Yeah. I mean, mean, if even. 20 minutes is a little generous. Well, it went... No, they said half an hour. After half an hour that uh, the pre-orders, you couldn't pre-order anymore. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So, it took 30 minutes to start pre-ordering. And it... That like um, that end of the month type thing is is probably going to make sense because comes out in September, right? It comes out the end of September, so that's like thirty days out, and that's you know that's when eBay's saying like people can't put up stuff until it's like thirty days out. It all it all kind of like correlates. So, all right, you know, so you know it's it's good for the eBay guys because they can pre order and flip it for five hundred bucks. Mm. 
So, all right, let's get into something that we can probably pre-order and it won't be, uh, pre-orders won't be sold out. That is the Xbox One X. So, whoa, whoa you're, you're assuming the Xbox One X won't be sold out? 1,000%. Wow, okay. I'll, I'll Strong take, prediction. I'll take that. Strong I'll take that prediction. Predict, I'll take that bet. Mm-hmm. Uh, f- uh, Microsoft's Phil Spencer pretty much said that pre-orders will be coming soon. Mm-hmm. So I doubt that... Uh, all, first of all, all the analysts say that this is not something that's going to to sell like crazy like hotcakes right um it will sell initially great because all the you know all you xbox you know uh all the all, 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 all the, you all xbox the people enthusiasts, who want the superior system all you xbox enthusi- uh-huh. enthusiasts you know all the people who want if you want to say system. if you want a superior system buy get it go go pc gaming Oh, oh! So now, now PC I said, gaming is I the best. I said, Master Race PC gaming. Now, gaming. I now said PC that. gaming is the best. I said it. Right. That's what I anything, said. anything that doesn't involve Xbox. If it was PlayStation, you'd say no, nah, no, 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 no. Uh-huh. PlayStation is the best. So, so listen, all you guys, you know, listen, you go, you're going to be riding it. It's okay. <laughs> Even Microsoft themselves says the Xbox One S. Which you know isn't selling right now is going to outsell the Xbox One X. Well, right, because because you're holiday the, season. Right, because you have the you have the pre you have the the premium system, right, and then you have the base system, well, which is much more attractive to someone who just wants the game. So, the gaming. so, 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 Mister, I'm on a budget. If this pre order went out tomorrow, would you pre order it? For what? For the X? Yeah. Oh, hands down. <laughs> of course, fanboyism. This guy's what? a fanboy. It's, it's 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 a system that outputs games in 4K. It does uh, 4K Blu-ray. Um, and it has a it has a significantly better processor in there. Like, why would I not get it? Whatever. Why would I not get Fanboys it? Fanboys and fanboys. I'm just I'm just saying, like, looking at what the PlayStation 4 Pro is, it's a slight uptick. Listen, the 4K streaming does nothing for me because my TV streams in 4K, so I could use it for the better VR support, sure. But I yeah, just, I, just, I just don't think it's worth. Yeah, it's not necessarily worth the four hundred because it's a it's a small uptick in power. Where but you're gonna put you get this for five hundred. That's small uptick in power too. It's it's significantly it's, it's tiny, significantly it's, bigger. It uptick does checkerboarding power. too. Every all the analysts have said this is checkerboarding as well, just as much much well, as the let's, pro. Well, let's 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 go ahead and see how it actually performs once it comes out because. Right now, it's all speculation stuff behind closed doors. Like, we've seen it. Here's some video of it. But, you know, it's got to be in the hands of the people to see what's up. Yeah. And so. the people will say, PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh-huh. Anyway. Uh-huh. All right. Let's stick with Microsoft. Um, now, I know you're going to say, what does this get to do with gaming? But I'll get to it. So, Windows 10 update signals the end of Microsoft Paint. Now, I know this is a little old, but I wanted to talk about this because I used to love Paint back well, in the sure. day. I actually would... Like in paint, draw, draw video game characters like, like like Sonic and and, and Mario. I mean, they look horrible. Oh, same. I used to, I used same. to draw I'd stuff use, in I'd paint. Use the, yeah, I used to use the use the freeform tool and make some lemmings and whatnot. And whenever I, and everyone, whenever you wanted to just draw like you know a sign because when you're not talking to someone, I had a girlfriend back in the day. You know, you mean we didn't do anything like play hopscotch and, and trade. You know, she ate my last sour power, the red one too. She took the red one. I said, "Hey, you could take the red one or the green one because I want to take the green one because no one liked the green one." She took the red one. I was really pissed, but I'm saying that's a side story. That was a side story. That was a side story. Just saying, it's a side story. Let's get you back on track here. I would like draw stuff in paint because uh-huh. I wasn't talking to her, <laughs> so I would talk to her in paint and just <laughs> like. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, talking to you, but I will, I will, I will. I will tell you what I mean in paint. It's, that's ridiculous. So yeah, so paint seems to be ending, or is it? Well, the whole thing of it is okay. So everyone, everyone has the headline: Microsoft cancels Microsoft Paint, right? Mm-hmm. Not necessarily true. It's still going to be there for the time being. They're just not actively supporting it, as in putting out new updates. Um, so there's going to be no new versions of Paint coming out. Paint is still around for the time being. They is that going to be updated? Right, they're not going to put anything new into it. They do have a new 3D editing program, um, which Paint 3D is their new thing, uh, which is basically just an evolution of Paint. Now it has some 3D modeling stuff in there. It's all very basic for what it is, but that'll be the new thing that they're going to have for uh, for all this stuff. So you know, yeah, we can we can we can give we can put a little tombstone up for Paint. You know, 1985 to 2017, I think. Gotcha. R.I.P. All right. Also, we could do. Uh, Pokemon Go Festival, Chicago, rest in peace. Oh. Because, uh, you know, did you hear about that? You hear, you heard about that that Chicago fiasco, right? I do, I do. And props on the segue, by the way. It's well, nice. I mean, listen, 
it was a disaster when uh-huh. it comes to like just events mm-hmm. and it's this is all on the pokemon company right so this, this... they 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 i don't know how they didn't anticipate this many people mm-hmm. the servers couldn't handle all of these people yeah so they sold tickets for like 20 dollars. yeah to, to some park in chicago i don't know i've never been to chicago don't really plan on going to chicago mm-hmm. uh and you get exclusive like battles, exclusive Pokemon, whatever. I mean, this was first... this was essentially what the commercial promised us. When everyone is in Times Square battling Mewtwo together, yes, right. And finally, they come together. Here's this event. Let's 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 get everybody in there. Twenty bucks a head, and it well, just goes. Out. They've refunded people's money. Great, right? And there's a thing because like if you. Uh, there's like a thing where you could say you're in Chicago, but you're not. But there's a code. So if you get a ticket, there's like a code on it. So that's how they know you're really there. Right. But I will say in their defense. Well, l- listen, they they the service couldn't handle the many users that were there. Not mm-hmm. to mention um, it was like 100 degrees outside at that yeah. point. It was like two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. Right. Um, I will say in their defense, mm-hmm. a lot of companies get hacked. And hackers screw up things. Mm-hmm. And sometimes people don't want to say they got hacked mm-hmm. because they don't want to promote other people hacking. Mm-hmm. Right? So they'll just take the, the, the L and say, hey, this was on us. We're sorry. Mm-hmm. So before I can completely destroy them, which I will in two minutes, I just want to say I apologize to the Pokemon company in, 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 in Niantic uh, and Nintendo because they are third, you know, they have one third, they own one third ownership of mm-hmm. Pokemon. Just in case you were hacked, and this is not really your fault, this is the fault of hackers, mm-hmm. I'm going to say I apologize. Mm-hmm. With that said, but, if this is your fault, you suck. I mean, how can you not test this yeah. and know that a million people are going to be there from all around the world? Mm-hmm. This is like one of like 10 events that they want to they want to have around the world. Well, I think it's maybe the, the last of those events. That Actually, no. Having. No, they, they are planning to continue on the next event, on all events. I think the next event it will be in Tokyo oh. or Europe, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, okay. Uh, I, mean, I haven't did Pokemon Go. I did Pokemon Go for like two days when it you first You did Pokemon Go for two minutes. I, I caught Squirtle in my sink, and that was about it. Congratulations. <laughs> you walked you walk two feet to your bathroom. That, that was... <laughs> that was it. That was it. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, uh-huh. um, the but my secret it was a phenomenon because my secretary was in the mm-hmm. uh, you know my secretary is like older than me. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, everyone was in this game. She's it like was... your age, forty six. Uh huh. So uh, she 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 just she was into this game and you know she would she would be not not working but like I don't know what she like doing with egg, you know like she's like you know I'm warming my eggs or something. Uh-huh. Like Pokemon uh-huh. Go. First of all, Pokemon Go came out. It was already glitchy. Let's yeah, talk about glitchy games. One hundred percent, which is which is why glitchy. which is why I stopped playing the game. You know, I, I really wasn't about it, but everyone seemed to be about it. You know, and they they did patch and fix a lot of the issues, but yeah, this is just inexcusable. I mean, you know, if, you're gonna if be, it's their fault, right, right. If well, I got, mean, there, there, no no like hacking group has, has has spoken out about this. Nobody's came up. No anonymous is like, yeah, this was us or yeah, whatever. but uh, well, well, that's because let's let's be honest. Mm-hmm. When, like, if there's a terrorist attack mm-hmm. or, if there, you know, like, and I, I know I'm putting terrorist attack and hacker attack, you know, in the same category. But when it, when there's any type of attack, mm-hmm. if nobody admits to being attacked, mm-hmm. nobody's going to take credit for it because they don't want to be like, you know, they're making it up. Right. They want credibility. They right. want to be like, we did it mm-hmm. if something, you know, was done. Right. Right. You don't want to say, hey, I hacked them. But they said, no, we weren't hacked. Mm. Right? Sure. Then your sure. hacker cred goes down the drain. A little bit, yeah. A little right? Bit. So um, they could have been hacked and no one took credit for it because mm-hmm. they didn't even own up to it. Maybe. Maybe. That's if they were hacked. But if they're not, if they weren't hacked and this was their fault, I just want to say you suck. <laughs> How can you not know a million people are going to be there in that park trying to catch legendary Pokemon? <laughs> I'm just saying. I just want to say you suck. That's it. You suck. One more time. You suck. Okay, that's it. It's out of my system. No, you suck. All right, it's out of my system now. You good? I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I don't even play Go. I don't even right. play Pokemon Go. So, all right. Uh, all the people who actually traveled to Chicago for this event uh, apparently are doing a class action lawsuit to sue the Pokemon group Niantic and Nintendo mm-hmm. for uh, reimbursement in travel fare, hotel, food, gas, whatever. Anything, uh, anything they can get refunded for. Okay, so I want to just transfer my my you sucks to all these people because you suck. This is not going to happen. This is, this is listen. There's already precedent, 
right? Well, this is a frivolous lawsuit. Well, okay, okay. To, to to break it down as the as the uh, as the law expert in this group right now. Not, what what, they, what legal recourse do they have? Do they zero. Have zero. Listen, zero. I, as my boss told me once when I asked him a question, he said, how, how can you quantify negative zero? Mm-hmm. That's, what they're, the, that's what the answer is to this mm-hmm. question. Okay? Mm-hmm. I mean, if I, I want to go to uh, a Kanye concert, mm-hmm. which I don't because he's a douchebag, but Kanye canceled a whole bunch of uh, concerts mm-hmm. recently, like in the last year, right? Because of mental illness, mental illness which right. he's actually suing his insurance company over. Um, the only thing you are entitled to is refundable tickets. Yeah. If you flew in from Japan mm-hmm. to see Kanye in Sacramento, that's no, on you. You know, you should have waited until Kanye came to Japan mm-hmm. because that is on you. Mm-hmm. He is not responsible for your airfare. He's not responsible for your hotel fare, yep. food, or whatever your touristy things you did mm-hmm. while you were in Sacramento. So, uh, sorry, they are. This this will get thrown out. Mm-hmm. So this is like sort of a non-story. Right. This is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. You're gonna sue them because you decide to fly to I Chicago. Mean, I mean, it sucks. You know, granted, it's a bad time, but yeah, it's just not. You're not gonna get anywhere with it. Yeah. So that's not. So that's that's something that's not gonna happen. Um, mm-hmm. And you know what? I don't feel bad. Well, I mean, I feel a little bit bad. I mean, it's it's it's. You know, Niantic they and got the Pokemon they, Company but should they have got put on a good Everything show. that they wanted mm-hmm. when they went there, they got. They got the legendary Pokemon that they wanted. I guess so, yeah. Right? I mean, Plus they, they got, like the whole thing shut down, I thought. No, everybody that was there yeah. got legendary Pokemon, got like $100 in oh, currency. Oh, they, they like gave it to them in the, in the game. Yeah, got $100 in currency right. in the game. Right. And you got your $20 ticket refunded. So, right. you, sh- you know, like you... You should be mad that you didn't get the experience to capture or whatever it is that well, you I mean, do. Yeah, I mean, they were, they were kind of going there for the whole experience, and then it, then you didn't it, get the experience, but you got the results. Mm-hmm. You got the results. Plus, you got your ticket. Is that, is that worth? Is that worth a three hundred hour plane ticket? Yes. Mm, I'll take it. So. I'll take it. I would have left happy. I'd been like, I really? Have, I didn't have to no. battle. I didn't have to battle for my Charizard. No I didn't have to battle for my Charizard. I'm good. No way. I'm good. So, all right, Friday the thirteenth. So, uh, I safe to say neither of us have played Friday the Thirteenth the game. Mm-mm. So, uh, Friday the Thirteenth the game sells one point eight million digital copies mm-hmm. on PlayStation Four and Xbox One. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if this is on PC, maybe PC as well. I think that's counting PC yep. Uh, games. Yep, definitely so, is. All right, so uh, it's doing so well and it's so buggy that they're going to put out a physical release. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I should just pick this up and play this game. Since they're making a physical release, I'm gonna wait and get the physical. So I the, I'm upset that it's super buggy. Well, the physical but, release will be forty dollars, thirty nine yeah. ninety nine, mm-hmm. uh, and it would come with a bloody Jason skin variant mm-hmm. for all playable Jason versions, mm-hmm. and you get some clothing pack full of playable camp counselors. Uh, I love that IGN in their review. They say this is the best Friday the Thirteenth game ever made, only if you play as Jason. <laughs> Yep, yep, apparently who plays the counselors is super buggy, um, which I get it, you know, it's made by a small studio and whatnot, and it took a lot to get the license and all that stuff, but, I mean, patch the game up, you know, I don't, I don't care about the skins, I don't, I don't care about the, the, the bloody variant for Jason and whatnot, I want a solid game, if I'm gonna spend $40 on this, give me a solid game with, with very little bugs in it, and then I'll, and, and then I'll be happy. And playing as Jason is at, yeah the is little like the like compilation draw. right the right. fake it is all class. random like who the you fake is random. Random. Yeah. Yeah. Like four or so five counselors and, and like so not Jason. not made by Sega like not made by, by Sega games. super Might be at games mm-hmm. so, so basically all but, the uh, all the uh, major out with a physical release from major outlets pandas panda they they killed don't tell anybody come think you think it's gonna come out for the switch is that good but it would be you got that little IR I'm just putting out prayers controllers that's like Sunday we're Sunday we're recording on Sunday it's all wireless so, it, that, nice. so the wireless is better like. than the last I can do with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going um, yeah. to pray so for with Fred. No, it wasn't wired. On switch, like, oh, really but they, they, have, they have a better connection now. Yeah, it's so. a better connection. Yeah. All right. The other one was like just let's a regular go to, Let's go to Sega. Control. Control. Oh, like, like, like yeah, infrared. The infrared is never in. Yeah, to really be up on flashback. Sega Genesis flashback. So, And this one is shaped like an actual Genesis. Mm-hmm. 
So uh, a lot of uh, like major sites panned it. You get like 40 real games and 40 games that never got released on the Genesis. That's because it's not an official Sega. All, this is not made by all Sega. They're like homebrews and fake games. Yeah. Not, not fake games, but just not, not, not games that were ever released in the Genesis. Yeah. So uh, At Games has had an official response to this. Mm-hmm. They pretty much said um, the review copies that went out had the older version of software on it. Now, these systems you can't collect on, you, you can't connect to online for them to do a firmware update. So they have to send out new review copies mm-hmm. with the updated software, quote unquote, updated uh, to mm-hmm. the re- to reviewers. Now this is something that's not coming out until October. Right. So this plenty of time for them to send. You know. You know to, what that? You know what that? You know what that? You know what that says to me? What does it say to you, Dave? Let that says know. that says to me. Oh, we put out an inferior product. No, no, no. We've been working on a patch. We'll send you the updated patch. This is this is all just reaction response. You think so? Basically, you think that they saw the reviews, uh huh, saw that the system was panned, mm-hmm. and two weeks later, because it was two weeks later, yeah. say no, no, we have you got the you got the old software when we first started this. We have new software that makes everything much better, and we're gonna send it out to you. I hundred percent. In like sometime September. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I 100% think like, oh, we need to, we need to go ahead and fix this, because they put out a ton of these, right? They to, put out a ton of these, Atari. Right. To varying degrees of success, there was always some problems with them. They're never that great. You know, the NES one came out. NES was great. The Super NES one's probably going to be great. You know, because it's made by Nintendo. There's quality control in there. Like these games barely run. These games barely run at like 30 frames a second, right? There, there. There's a lot of skipping frames. There's a lot of input lag in there. The menus are really weird to, to like navigate around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a lot negative to say about this. So, all right, let's talk about a studio that actually ports AAA games mm-hmm. in 2017. All right, so you have Virtuous, the studio responsible for Assassin's Creed, the Enzio collection. Ezio. Ezio. <laughs> Enzio. Ezio. I'm just saying. I'm just Enzo saying. I'm Amore trying, I'm from trying WWE. Keep, trying to try, try to keep you 100. percent yeah, Listen, Enzo Amore from WWE. I don't. I don't know these new. Writers. I know you don't. You Come don't on. Watch, you throw me like, like. Throw me like a Triple H. Throw me like a. Uh, throw me like a Kane. I'll. I will get these that. Are, these are all old guys who don't even wrestle anymore. Kane's, Kane's running for wrestling. mayor. He's running for mayor. That's fine. He still wrestles. He's not even wrestling. He's not wrestling he'll, as he's. He'll come out for a SummerSlam. He's. He's in the middle of his a campaign. He's not wrestling right now. Somebody's not gonna be a SummerSlam. Wow, well, that's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. So anyway, anyway, him and Rhino are running for like mayor. Well, no, I think Rhino lost. Oh my god. Yeah. So Rhino for mayor. God, it sounds like a Spider-Man plot. <laughs> well, virtu- <laughs> so virtuous. Uh huh. They they came out. They did the Batman Return to Arkham, and mm-hmm. they did the final. They were there, and they're involved in a Final Fantasy uh, remaster. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, they are working on a AAA title uh, port for Nintendo Switch. Mm-hmm. We don't know what port that is. Ah, oh, here you go again with the switching. But I thought we would speculate. What would you, if if they came to you and they said, Dave, you name a game that came out in the last two years, or mm-hmm. name a series mm-hmm. that you would love to play on the Switch, and we'll port it because we're the king of the ports. I got you. What would you put? What would you pick? AAA title. Triple A time, right? We were just we were just talking about superhero movies and all that, and and, and you know, Batman and Spider Man, Superman sixty four. That is not actually <laughs> accurate. He would not pick that. Is that is a Triple A title. Thank you very much. He, but you, that was not a Triple A title. You were actually <laughs> picked to be ported to the Nintendo Switch. No, 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 no. So if you want my you want my real answer, I'd say you know the the lovely Bioshock collection came out. That's like, a good last pick. Year. That's a good pick. I'd say uh, you know bring that to the system. That is a good pick because I don't even think. Bioshock came to any Nintendo systems when it came out. Uh, it did not. No, it came to PlayStation, came to Xbox, X- came to PC for sure. And that is, and that's it. It did not come to any Nintendo. Mm-mm. It didn't come to the Wii. It definitely didn't come to the Wii U. No. Uh, okay. I my first reaction mm-hmm. was Mass Effect. Sure. One, two, like, and three. Like the OG trilogy. One, yeah, two, yeah. and three. Mm-hmm. That was my first reaction. Mm-hmm. I was like, I want to play. I because I don't really. I haven't really. I played. A little bit of the first Mass Effect game. Mm-hmm. I played two or three, so I was gonna say, you know, the great the Mass Effect games, right? Because the just the visual effects would still be of the Switch is like last gen. 
right? This is that. Well, a... yeah, 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 a little bit, a little bit less gen, yeah. Yeah, so so it would work. In my, I mean, I'm not a tech guy, so I don't know. I I, I think it'd be a visual upgrade from the uh, first three. Cause really? Wow! Mass look Effect, at him! Po- po- look at him! The first, the first bolstering the switch. First Mass Effect was like 2007, I think. You know, that's a good seven years bolstering at least. The switch. It's, it's, it's like ten years old now. The first Mass Effect. So so, I would say, I don't know. You know. I would, you know what? I don't think I'll stick with that. The Mass Effect series. Mass Effect, Mass Effect would be great. You know, I, I, a lot of people who haven't had a chance to play it can play it on the go now. The Bioshock, the Bioshock series is is a great one. But you know what? Maybe maybe the Arkham series. Sure. With Origins. Sure. They already have. Oh wow. With Origins, it has uh-huh. to be, it has, you have to include Origins. Uh huh. I mean, they, they they already have they already have some pedigree doing the uh, doing doing the remakes for PS4 and uh, uh, Xbox One. You know why not? Why not? I, I I would also throw. Uh, speaking of Assassin's Creed, I I throw uh, I throw a, uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag no number uh, four, the best in the series. I throw wow. that out there. I would wow. play that again in a heartbeat. Look yeah. at you! Look yeah. at you! Yeah, you know I think it'd be good. It'd be good. I mean they have a lot, they have a lot to work with. This is they're not saying any particular studio. Uh, the story is basically just saying we're porting a triple A title, so it could be anything. Well, listen. I am happy that people are talking about the Switch. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because the Switch is doing really well. The Switch is selling 4.7 million units. ARMS and Mario Kart are selling strongly. Everything is going well for the Switch. Uh, Nintendo bo- uh, bolstering profits all across the board in all territories. Uh, Nintendo is doing really well right so now. So it's 4.7 million worldwide. Uh, to date. To date, I think okay. so, yes. So, uh, and listen, ARMS is like selling crazy sure right it's a solid game you know a lot of and, people are kind of eh about it but and and as a, a as game. a side note that new fire emblem game that mm-hmm. came it was like a fire emblem game that came out for the 3ds mm-hmm. and you know i don't care about fire emblem. I yeah think that, yeah the it, remake uh this is a remake of one of the gba ones i think yeah that sold like two million copies in like two weeks in like mm-hmm. a, in like a week or two mm-hmm. right so i mean yeah that's on the 3ds and that's only in japan mm-hmm. but you know that's bolstering nintendo sales as yeah. well so Nintendo's doing really well right now. Yeah. So I'm super happy for this. Mm-hmm. Now, because of this, uh, obviously everyone took the wait and wait to you know wait to see approach with the the Switch. Right. Right. Is it going to be another Wii U? Is it is it not going to be? Yeah. Not going to sell well. So Capcom mm-hmm. has taken notice. Mm-hmm. Now we were be- led to believe that uh, that Ultra Street Fighter Two New Challengers didn't sell that well, but apparently. They're saying that it, it's a smash hit compared. I'm sure they had low expectations. Right. So it, it being a smash hit means, you know, it, it probably sold like half a million copies, right? Sure. Like they probably didn't think it would sell that much. And I know I bought it mm-hmm. and we did play it. Yeah. So uh, Capcom's bringing, is starting to prepare more games for the Switch. Nice. Now, we don't know anything because mm-hmm. you know they're starting game. They're starting to prepare new games now, which means we're not going to see it for another year or two. Mm-hmm. I would say, what game would you want to see on the Switch uh, from Capcom? Well, I mean, I, I take anything from Capcom, honestly. Like, uh, I'd love to see Mega Man on there. There, there's probably going to be a Mega Man game on there. Well, we got Mega Man Collection Two coming out like next week. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. There it's not you coming go. to the Switch though. What's that? It's not coming to the Switch though. It should be coming to the Switch. I mean, it's 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 perfect. It's perfect at home. I think it has a 3DS release. Okay, I'd still I would rather I would rather see it on the I'd like to see it on both the 3DS and the Switch. You know, I'd like to see a new Mega Man game. If we're talking about like new games that come out, let's make a new Mega Man game that that takes into account some of the unique features of the Switch. So that you have a game that's custom tailored and made specifically for the Switch. It's a unique experience, you know, it's not, oh, you can get the same thing on Xbox, you can get the same thing on PlayStation, you know. Maybe not to the level of, like, Breath of the Wild or Mario Odyssey, but, you know, put a nice, like, 2D Mega Man game that, that, that utilizes some unique features of the Switch. I'd say that. I would say, this is, and I'm going to throw your curveball. Go ahead. So, they recently announced uh, Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 coming to Nintendo mm-hmm. Switch. Now, it's coming to the PS4 and xbox one i think august 29th and it has a switch release later in the year it's mm-hmm. probably december because we put out in november or october you're putting out to die mm-hmm. <laughs> right so it's going to come out probably in sometime december so if i needed a brand new capcom game for the switch i would say give me a 
Not a mainline Resident Evil series. Give me a side Resident Evil series. Give me Resident Evil 7. Five. Ah, so you want you want third person view. You you want a game set in the same game world, not that game, but like a little side story that ties into it. Well, look at Revelations one and two. Mm-hmm. Right, that's not in the mainline game. Yeah, that's right? right. That's a side game that that's came right. out. That came out for that did come out for all platforms, even the, the handheld platforms. Mm-hmm. I want it. To, I want them to have a Resident Evil seven point five. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil point seven. I'm not gonna spoil Resident Evil Seven, but you know you, you barely start... played it. I, I don't know how much you could spoil in that game. <laughs> uh, I saw the ending. Uh huh. I YouTube the ending. Oh, damn yeah, it! Yeah, yeah. I, I knew the ending before you did. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you for not ruining it for me. You're welcome. But I mean, you're a husband looking for your wife, right? Uh huh. And you, you you track her down to this house. Mm-hmm. And that's all I'm gonna say about the mainline Seven game. But mm-hmm. maybe you could be like a friend that you told that you were gonna see, you know find your wife in his house and. You're coming to find him, right? Because mm-hmm. he disappeared, mm-hmm. right? And you don't know where he is. Right, right. And you're in the third person view instead of the first person view. Yeah. And, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe they can do something with it. Maybe you're just in the town and not just the house, the town that the house is in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. And it could be like Resident Evil 4. Right. Ish. Yeah. There could be some interesting stuff they could do with that. For so, sure. so I think they should do something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, bring that. I think that would be cool. Yeah. I, 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 would, I would buy it in a heartbeat, you know. So. But anyway, the Switch is doing well, and we're both glad because we're both Nintendo nerds. Uh, let's just stick with Nintendo real quick. Uh, Rayman Legends. That was a game that they sort of announced with the Switch announcement. Mm-hmm. Uh, that got Finally, they got a release date. That's coming out September 12th, mm-hmm. too. So if you haven't played it on every other platform, known the man, <laughs> you can play it on Switch. It's uh, certainly a solid game if I didn't have it for uh, Xbox One because they had it as like a games with gold one month a couple of years ago and I picked it up and it's a it's, it's definitely a great game it's worth your money so to have it to have it come to the switch I think is great and you know to reiterate your point you haven't you haven't, you haven't played it yet played on switch I have not played it on switch obviously because it's not out yet but well, I right. have played it I've played it everywhere else I've played it on my 3ds mm-hmm. uh, I even think I played it on my Xbox I have it for you know I have it for Xbox and 3ds mm-hmm. so I, I've definitely beat it on both of those platforms right so uh will i pick it up for the switch i don't know yes maybe we'll see maybe if they add any special features maybe mm-hmm. i will pick it up um let's stick with the switch super <clears throat> mario odyssey which is a mainline nintendo game mm-hmm. for the first time in 30 something years uh pretty much nintendo uh, a mario game won't just be rated e it's rated, rated m for mature it is not no rated g for gamers he will not be cursing, and he will not. Rec- he will not recommend, uh, you know, the Order eighteen eighty six being the game of the year. <laughs> but he is rated E ten plus. Ah, uh, interesting, interesting. He's still he's, he's kid the friendly. Bump up, the big bump up from E to E ten. He's still kid friendly. Mm-hmm. However, uh, he. I mean, you know, look. There's a you know there's a nightclub in, mm-hmm. in New Dark City, right? Mm-hmm. Well, well I'm sure there's a lot of things in New Dark City we don't know about, Uh-oh. right? Uh oh. Right? right, that's where you. Uh-oh. That's probably the last level where you where you where you are rescue Peach in the hotel room. Uh-huh. No? Oh boy, maybe. Maybe. Oh boy. No. Okay. Just <laughs> getting, getting a little salacious over here. Just making sure. I'm just, I'm, I'm, just, over I'm just checking. I'm just Miyamoto is going to come for you. He's not coming for me. He probably thought of this idea. He <laughs> said, "You know what, Princess Bowser, you're going to be in the hotel room, and Mario's you know, going to bust in." I think. I think it's. I think it's. I think. I think part of it is the nightclub. Part of it is the quote unquote possession of characters and objects and things in the game what world. If, what if what if Mario a little bit more adult. What if Mario bust in the hotel room, right? With Bowser like just leaning over Pete, uh, leaving, leaning over uh, Princess Peach and then Mario throws his hat and possesses Bowser. And it's just like, It's me, Mario, I'm in Bowser. Give me a kiss. No? Did you <laughs> Did you really just <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Um, I I I am speechless. <laughs> Maybe no. I am speechless. All right. Anyway, let's move on. So, <laughs> Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I I can't even get Fighters used to say, or Fighter Z. Fight, I can't even get used to. That. That's stupid. That's stu- it. Should be Dragon Ball Z Fighters. I agree. Dragon not Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Not dra- see, I can't even say that. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Like that's just dumb. You know what? Here at Rated G, Dave makes up 
words. I Boom. make up words. You make up words. You all make up. The time. You make up words. You make up words. You all the time. make up words. What? What? And we're make, switching. Make a word that I made up. And you know what? You made it up. I forgot. It's in your dictionary, not mine. Uh, so you know what? Uh-huh. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh-huh. switch this around. It is Dragon Ball Z Fighters because that's the name it should be. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z Fighters. You know when I actually buy this game, I'm gonna put tape. You're gonna put some tape over I'm gonna it. Put tape over it and just put Fighters Z. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna put. Dragon Ball Z uh, Fighters. All right. Yeah. So you can actually sign up. August twenty second for the close beta and, and that kicks close off. Beta. Close beta. I said beta. You, you said you said beta. I didn't say beta. Like <laughs> Vega from Street Fighter. Like Capcom. We All did right. not say so that. Sign up. So sign up for the close beta. Beta. You know what? Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna say Vega. You can sign up for the close Vega. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And then that's actually I think that starts on the 16th of September to the 18th. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have no release date for this game. As I, I don't, as far as I know, and this is definitely a 2018 game. I think so. Yeah, probably early 2018, if anything. Yeah, I mean, you know, Microsoft. You know, this was a announcement exclusive. Mm-hmm. This is going to come to all platforms. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, uh, exclusive out of their out of their other 22 exclusives. All right, whatever. Don't don't try and throw shade on Microsoft. I'm what, sorry. Whatever. PlayStation almost no exclusives. Microsoft what? 22. What? God of War? What game is that? What, what, I said that almost just, no. Almost. I said almost no. Almost no. no. Almost yeah, no. Whatever. All the exclusives are coming out in 2018, baby. Yeah. That's uh, great. <laughs> what do you, what, what is, what is, what is, what is PlayStation have for the fall 2017? We don't know yet. We'll find uh, out in PlayStation well, Experience. Spider-Man. Have fun with that. Spider-Man. Have fun with Spider-Man. that. Spider-Man. Oh, great. Uh-huh. The Web Slinger. All right. <laughs> Let's get into some PC news because mm-hmm. we know how I love you PC geeks. Mike's Mike, this is for you. Yeah, Mike. Come on, we gotta stick together, buddy. Whatever you, you PC, gotta, we you, gotta stick together. You PC. So, so geeks. what is this? What is this? Uh, what is this PC news we're talking about? So, Destiny Two Beta. Mm-hmm. I said Beta, mm-hmm. not Vega. Mm-hmm. Destiny Two Vega, mm-hmm. not Beta. Uh huh. All right, it's coming out for the PC August twenty eighth. Mm-hmm. The system specs have have been revealed. So you have to tell me. About these system specs because I don't know because I'm a console gamer. They just you, come yeah. the way it comes. You, you are you are you are forever forever planning on building your your little small I, box PC. I will start. I will start building look, this look, year. When, whenever, man, just just look, just look. Get some funds together. Me and Mike will help you out. We will build you a PC and it'll be fantastic. Oh, as a side note, before we get into uh, the the beta mm-hmm. slash Vega mm-hmm. of uh, Destiny Two for PC. Mike has accepted my challenge for the voice on the Wii. Also, my challenge for Just Dance or Dance Revolution. Or oh, it's happening. It's I'm called. dusting off the camera. That is going up on the Instagram he, he, and the YouTube. He, he he has accepted my challenge. Very nice. So, all right. Let's get into this Vega for mm-hmm. PC. The beta for Destiny 2. Yeah. PC uh, specs is... have been revealed. Mm-hmm. Finally. Finally. So, you have to tell me, does this mean anything well, I mean, you know, because I don't know anything. You need eight gigs of RAM. That yeah. part I know. It it it, it definitely minimum means specs. something. This is the minimum spec. You need eight gigs of RAM, right? You need a uh, Intel. Well, no, 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 no. The 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 minimum spec is six gigs of RAM, which is basically like the minimum. The minimum is the game will boot up. The game will play probably poorly. So, in almost any regard, especially for a game like Destiny, you're gonna need the recommended right, specs. So your recommended specs are eight gigs. Right, eight gigs of RAM is pretty standard, if not even a little bit low. You know, if you have less than eight gigs right now, uh, you're probably not playing any AAA titles, right? Um, eight is pretty standard. Sixteen, even 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 like more than sixteen, is pretty standard. Most motherboards can handle that. Um, you know, in terms of the graphics cards, they're recommending a Radeon R three ninety. Um, I had bought one of those like last year and it was mid tier. So, you know, as long as you have a pretty up to date rig, you should be okay with this game. It's looking for a Core i5 2400. Uh, I'm not too familiar with like uh, the processors and, and which are the latest. This seems kind of um, mid, mid to, mid to high for the recommended. Um, I mean, on the low end, it's asking for a Core i3, which is kind of their budget brand. Um, Core i3-3250, uh, which is probably one of the entry levels, uh, and an AMD uh, FX4350 uh, for their baseline, and then AMD Risen R5-1600X, which is kind of their their more like gaming-oriented line. Um, so I think uh, if you have a new PC um, from the last year or so with pretty decent specs, or you've upgraded recently, 
uh, you should be fine playing this game. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to get uh, 60 frames a second uh, 4K on this. Um, they do say that they support up to 144 uh, hertz in the game. Uh, you're going to need probably dual graphics cards and probably like some GeForce 1080s. Um, it seems like uh, when they were kind of running the game uh, at 4K, they had pretty beefy rigs for this. So, you know, if you want everything turned on and you want all the fancy graphics and all that stuff, you're going to need a pretty heavy rig, probably to pro probably dual graphics cards and whatnot. But, you know, if you just kind of want to play the game at medium settings, um, you have a PC within the last year, you'll probably be fine with this. So, with that said, are you going to try the beta? Probably. So you have the recommended specs already? Uh, yeah, actually. I mean, I have a, I have an R390. Um, I have 20 gigs of RAM in my system. And I do have a Core i5 processor. Um, so it should be okay. You know, I should be able to hang, play this game for a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm interested to try it out. Um, if I do end up playing it, like, for real, I'll probably do it on the console, I think. Um, that's, you know. On the PlayStation, the because... That's where either we're one, set a either team. one PlayStation or Xbox, you know. No, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna play. We already do the division on Xbox. We already got you already got your Xbox game that we play. Oh, on. okay. So we now we need a PlayStation game. Sure. And it will be Destiny because sure. we can get those unlockables that will come to PlayStation first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, all right. So this is going to be a historic fall. Why? Well, one, we actually well, this is going to be a, this is a historic show because mm -hmm. we started the show with what we're playing for the first time in eighty tries. <laughs> uh, I wanted to make sure that we did that. Uh, two, uh, NBA EA has added uh, the WNBA teams. They're going to be playable in NBA Live eighteen. Mm, interesting, interesting. That is the good news of that story. This is uh -huh. the first time we get to play WNBA games. Yeah, WNBA players mm -hmm. in a video game. It's not uh it's not the first time they've done this. Uh, well, it's not the first time they've done this with women's sports. First time right. they've done it with bas women basketball. Right. They did this with uh two, um they did this with the the soccer uh the FIFA uh 2016. Uh they had the uh the women's league in there. Uh funny enough 2017 no women's league. So, the bad news is mm -hmm. this is NBA Live and not 2K. <laughs> Well, because the gameplay is probably going to be as bad as the men's basketball mm. in NBA Live. Uh, so I think this is a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. You don't. You don't think this is. I mean, do you think well, this. Well, I just, I don't, I, I, you know, not to, not to, not to throw any shade on the Women's Female Basketball League because, you know, it's awesome that it's out there and I'm, I'm, I'm glad they have a fan base, but. I just don't think it's as popular as it is. Uh, it is not as men's basketball. It is not as popular, but I think this is a big deal, and I think people will support it. And I think this is partly on the marketing strategy for NBA Live, mm -hmm. because NBA Live has done so poorly. It's been panned by critics. It's been mm -hmm. panned by players. Comparative to the to the two K series, series, not as good. Not as good. It's just been atrocious. It's been horrible. Mm -hmm. I think I think this will be a big deal because of historic. I think it will sell. Mm -hmm. Gameplay wise, eh, we'll see. Uh huh. If it's decent, I think they'll keep going with it. Right. Because they would be the only ones to do it now. Right. The NBA and WNBA are sort of in the same boat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't think they have the exclusive license. But, you know, now this is in 2K's hands. I think this is a big deal because now I think this is in 2K's hands to say, all right, we need to do the, you know, we got to map out the facial structure and the moves. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the, sure. Because they, they're, they're going to they're gonna want to up, wanna up them if they actually do try this. They want to be at the same level, mm -hmm. right? And I want to like, I would like, I want to know how detailed this is mm -hmm. as far as facial animations, uh, just, you know, move, move I, don't, I, I don't see why it would be any different than, you know, the men's side. They're going to, they're going to probably but, do their best. Yeah, to, but, you know. but, but they've been doing the men's for so long they don't need to remap someone's mo LeBron James's moveset right, because they, they have already that have year. that from ten years ago. Exactly, exactly. So, like, you know, if LeBron gets a new haircut, he needs a new head model. Otherwise, they're just going to re-import it from last year and you know use the new game engine, and then you're good to go. Yeah, you know. So, so they I, do. They do have to do. So I want to know how detailed this is with right. the different women. Will they have different move sets, different facial structures, right. movement? Um, right. you know, little routines that they do mm -hmm. before game, after mm -hmm. game, or whatever. You know, like the nice, like, like the little, the little details. Like Brittany Griner is to me. Brittany Griner is the number one face. She's not the Michael Jordan mm -hmm. by far. She's not the first, like the best person, the best 
player in the mm-hmm. league. But to me, personality wise, name wise, name recognition, mm-hmm. to me, I think she's like the biggest name in the sport. I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. I follow it loosely. I used to follow it like. I was heavily into it when I was a kid because mm-hmm. my mom watched it. Oh, yeah. And my mom took me to games. And my stepfather took me to games. Mm-hmm. And we were a big Liberty fan. I'm still a big Liberty fan. They suck <laughs> now, but it's okay. Um, but I would like to see how in-depth they go. You think this. she's going to be on the cover side-by-side side with, with she, uh, King James? I don't – I will. well, we don't know if King James is endorsing something that sucks. Uh, so he, didn't, he hasn't endorsed the live game uh-huh, yet. Uh-huh. They've always had the secondary players endorse the games. <laughs> I think it was, uh, Russell Westbrook endorsed last year or two years ago, something okay. like that. Mm-hmm. So they'll probably mm-hmm. pick a secondary player. John Wall, who John hasn't Wall. won anything, he can endorse live. <laughs> yeah. So uh, not a John Wall fan, but right. whatever. Uh, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. Uh, and lastly, when it comes to news, Uncharted Lost Legacy, uh, we've seen extended gameplay. I know we're a little late on this. It's been two weeks old. But I love this game. This is my sleeper game. Really? Hit. That's a surprise. I did not know you were a fan of the Uncharted This series. is a I did sleep- not. I, I would have never guessed. This is a sleeper game hit of 2017. Wow. This started out as DLC. This is a standalone game. Mm-hmm. You do not need to play Uncharted 4 to have this game. Mm-hmm. Um, this is an open world game. And Uncharted 4, uh, all the Uncharted series, is linear. Mm-hmm. It's a non-linear yeah. game. You can explore the world. Um, don't know if I like that. I'm more of a linear person, but everyone's yeah. raving about this is the first Uncharted mm-hmm. open world game. Um, I mean, hey, hey, hey. You've been you've been, you've been been playing Zelda religiously, and you love Zelda. I do love Zelda. So, you know, they can do open world in a good way that doesn't feel very yeah. overwhelming. Um, I will say, I mean, I like the characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, 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 love, I love Chloe. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I loved her from Uncharted 2. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I love it where, I love it, well, first of all, I, I loved her, I think she was, she was in Xena too, right? I think she was in Xena. Oh, she was, she was, Old uh, school. what's her name, uh, Gabrielle? No, she wasn't Gabrielle. No! Oh. Oh. What? Are you well, kidding I don't know. me? I don't know. You're trying to bring up Xena here. I'm, t- no, I'm trying, I'm trying no, to go no. with you on this. No, she was that guest. She wasn't Gabrielle. No. Well, I don't know. No, no, she wasn't in Xena. I'm bugging. I have the name. I, I picture. I have the picture in my hand. I came and say, next episode, I'll know where she's from. Jack of all show. trades? What? No, what? Stop naming show. Stop. Just stay and stop. His Forest very... game? No, no. I don't know. Deep stop. Space Nine? Stop. I don't know. Stop. All right, you'll you, you have to dig it up for next time. Stop, stop, stop. You'll have to dig it up for next stop. time. SG One. She was in Stargate. All right, all right. That's, it's it's, it's love, on the same level as Jack of All Trades. She was in Star. She was on SG One. Uh, she Stargate. was in Stargate. I okay. loved her in Stargate. Okay. Uh, both the voice actress. Right, person. right. So uh, I love the risk reward with this too, because they have like treasure boxes, mm-hmm. like treasure chests you you can unlock, and it's that sort of picking a lock mechanic. Mm-hmm. It's not like Zelda where you kick the box open and you just mm-hmm. bing sword right mm-hmm. no. Uh, if you want to go through the stealth, stealthy, you got to like pick the lock of the treasure chest to get whatever's inside, but you run the risk of being seen by, you know, whatever the enemy is. Sure, there'll be some guards controlling around and whatnot. Yeah. So. so, you know, you get, you're get you picking the lock, but then you may have to stop, move, hide, come back, right? So I just, I love, like, I just love this game. And this game is like huge. This is not like regular DLC where. You know, it's like two, three hours long. They mm-hmm. said this is the size this is a, of a full size game. Sure, sure. This is going to take at least 20, 30 hours, maybe. Yeah. You so, know, considering that it's open world and you can kind of make your own way and whatnot. Yeah, it's not linear, so you can mm-hmm. explore. So I love this game. Um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of this game. Uh, and you still have not beaten the Uncharted Collection. I'm, I'm still I'm still in the middle of two, so, you know. All right, well, finish two already, man. Oh, I will. So I mean, it's, it's, it's been a very good year for video games, so. All right. All right, so let's get into the convo of the week. Mm-hmm. October 27th is going to be the craziest day in pop culture history. Mm-hmm. Right? Why is that? Why is that? We have a lot of things coming out. Mm-hmm. TV, movie. Video games. Video games. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's pull a little disclaimer at the top. Cloverfield, there was a third movie in the Cloverfield series that was slated for uh, October 27th release. That has been delayed. Mm-hmm. So that is no longer a part of history so 
Let's get into Netflix. Mm-hmm. We got Stranger Things season two coming mm-hmm. out on the twenty seventh. Have you seen Have you seen season one yet? I've not. I've heard a lot of good yeah. things about it. It is on, in my backlog. On that, it is in my backlog. If you want me to play Uncharted, you need to see you need to see Stranger. Things. I want you to play a lot of things. All you right. Well, I want you to see Stranger Things. Right, I, love I, it. I will binge watch it before season two comes. Come I mean, on, come on. You're a big fan of the eighties. I was a big fan of the eighties. Right. You 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 will feel right at home. It's okay. like it's like it's well, like. Well, what is like, what what is it about? I don't even it's know what like it's Goonies about. Goonies meets Stephen King. I don't even know what it's about. What is it about? It, it's 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 a little hard to explain without kind of giving things away. Well, give it a little away. Spoiler, I mean, spoiler one. No, I can't. I can't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil it that much. But basically, basically, there's like a there's like a group of kids who live in this uh, backwoods town. Um, I forget where. It's 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 probably somewhere in I think like Portland or Washington or whatever, right? And one of the kids gets abducted early. By who? Early in the show. By what? Well, that, that, that's the whole thing. That's the whole conceit of the show is, you know, what's going on? What is this thing? And, I mean, as the show, as the show title says, you know, the show just keeps getting stranger and stranger and all these things come up. And then the you know, police get involved because now it's a missing kid uh, uh, case. And then the cops are trying to find out what's going on. There's a science facility in town where some weird experiments may or may not be going on. So, you know, the town is on high alert and then the kids kind of the kids kind of start doing their own thing, trying to figure out what's going on. And, you know, gotcha. there's some supernatural elements or some sci fi elements in there. There's a lot of like a lot of like Goonies esque like kids going out on their own journey. Uh, it just it just hits on a lot of things. And, you know, the storytelling is great. One of the characters they had in there, they, they, they kind of flesh all these characters out. Obviously, there's going to be a season two, so they're going to be expanding out the universe a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it was it was like a sleeper hit. You know, no one no one really knew it was coming. came out. It did really well. And uh, now it's going to be a part of history on the uh, 27th. All right. Awesome. All right. Mm-hmm. So I will check out season one. You need to. Before season two comes you out. You need to. Yeah. Uh, I will. I want to get mm-hmm. that. I, I still haven't finished Iron Fist. And then this month. The defenders are out. I'm there sure the go. defenders are out right now. It's it already August. It may be. All right. So uh, also coming out on the 27th, mm-hmm. video game related, we have Assassin's Creed Origins. Mm-hmm. Shaping yeah. up to possibly be one of the best, if not the best, Assassin's Creed. It's about time they took they took that year off. I know. Polished this I up. know. I know. We would have had googly eyed faces on this one <laughs> in, in Egypt. All right. Okay. Uh, I am 1,000% looking forward to Assassin's Creed game. Mm-hmm. And... You never guess. You're, you're not. A, you never guess. You never guess. You never guess. I am looking forward to doing it stealth. Uh, why? What? 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 What makes this different than the other games? Setting. Uh huh. The setting. I can the have scene. the eagle go over, and mm-hmm. I can sort of map Scout out, out plan. the area and see yeah. what's up. That's yeah, yeah. awesome. I want to know if that's a skill that I have to earn or that I automatically get off the back. You'll probably get it pretty early because even in even in the other Assassin's Creeds, you have eagle eye. Which, which basically allows you to... You can see everything from your vision. And you can see what the target is. Um, so that's kind of like always been a thing. So it's probably going to be pretty early on. Gotcha. Yeah. So um, then we got the next video game that's coming out that mm-hmm. will destroy every other video game that comes out. <laughs> uh, we got Super Mario Odyssey. Rated E10+. plus. Huge. With huge. New Donk City. Mm-hmm. So we got Assassin's Creed Origins and Super Mario Odyssey. That's you know. going to be... The, the, first of all... I don't think anyone thinks that Super Mario Odyssey is going to take a backseat to anything, any <laughs> no, other game coming no, out. No, it, 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 it may, is the you know, game. Link, Link, Link. Yeah, no, no. You came out of March. Sit down. Sit down. I got yeah. this. This game is going to be... It trample over... Th- this game is going to be number one. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's safe to say. We don't have to... That's not even, you know, that's not even like a question. Like, Mm-mm. that game will be number one. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, all right. The next game coming out, Wolfenstein and New Colossus. Part two. This, mm-hmm. is, this is the the second uh, se- second game in the series that came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think honestly, at all uh, all three games that are gonna come out, I think this is gonna take a hit. This at all games that should move from the twenty seventh should be Wolfenstein. This sh- honestly would do better going against Call of Duty. And uh, I never agreed. thought I would say it. Yeah, agreed. Just like you know, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have Switch owners. Mm-hmm. Every Switch owner in the world is gonna get Mario Odyssey, right? Mm-hmm. And I think. I mean, I like the set. I like the Wolfenstein series, like the first game, even though the first hour sucked. It was kind of slow. Mm-hmm. I think people are more excited about the new Assassin's Creed coming out. Maybe that's set in the Egyptian setting. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's basically telling it's 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 the origin story of the assassins. Yeah, you know, that's exciting. 
You know, I we've think, had we've had we've had Wolfenstein games, you know, come out every like couple of years and whatnot, and they look cool. And this one certainly looks over the top. But I mean, it, maybe maybe it, maybe maybe the maybe the PC will be the saving grace for this because Mario is not coming to the PC. That is true, right? And I mean, the Assassin's Creed games. The Assassin's Creed games on like uh, PC and whatnot, they you know they've 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 certainly had some trouble, you know. So um, it may not sell as well on the PC, you know. This may be where uh, the new Colossus shines, you know. Maybe they can kind of make up some some uh, sales that would have gone to them if Mario and Assassin's Creed didn't didn't come out that week. I will say the only thing that's in I play Devil's Advocate. The only thing mm-hmm. that can stop Mario from being like the top selling game of that day mm-hmm. or that week is the fact that it's not coming out on PC and PC gamers may flock to buy Wolfenstein right. or Assassin's Creed. Right. So I give you that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I still think worldwide it Mario Odyssey will be number one game. Oh, it's kind of and I think yeah. the fight will be between this number two uh, Wolfenstein and Assassin's Creed. And I think Assassin's Creed will win out because I know if I only had money to buy one, I'm buying Assassin's Creed. Because mm-hmm. I wasn't that big of a fan of the Wolfenstein game. Right. I mean, I liked it. It was pretty cool. It mm-hmm. came out when I had nothing else to play. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it came out over the summer, I think. That would be a game that I would push to December. Mm-hmm. Wow, that far out, huh? I would. I, I, I would. I mean, if I had to, if I had to put it out sort of like in that, that fall, October, November, I would mm-hmm. put it in November to fight with Call of Duty because it's a first-person shooter. Yeah. But if I had total control over what, when You'd I would say, put like, it early out, December, first week of December. I would put it out in December. Wow, okay. To, to stay away from all the other games. I mean, mm-hmm. we've already proven. I mean, I think it's proven that December is that when games go out to die. Right. Right? So I, I would put it out in December if I were them. Mm. But if they want to keep this slate to be a part of history and lose <laughs> – you know, Bethesda be my guest. Well, we shall see. We uh, shall see. And movie wise, mm-hmm. uh, we talked about TV, talked about video games. Movie wise, we have the seventh installment of Saw. It's actually uh, Jigsaw. Nice. So well, I am looking forward to this. I like the Saw movies. I thought he was dead. I thought this was over. Yeah, yeah. They I tie mean, him all into one bow, but right. They, instead of calling it Saw Seven, I like the fact they call it Jigsaw because it sort of seems like a new movie. Right, right. right. It and doesn't give that fatigue of Seven that, and if you didn't see the first six, right, right, because they all kind of tie into each other in a way, and you know, some of them were great. You know, and I do like seeing them. You the know, first one was iconic. They're fun. The first one was fantastic. I even like two and three, and you know, some of the some of the uh, later ones were okay. Um, you know, they're fun. They're fun. I think this is going to be another fun movie. I don't think it's going to be. I think this is sort of their way of rebooting it. Maybe because yeah. they make see they make you may say you may, I don't think you'll see a jigsaw two, right. but I think you see like a jigsaw with the, like a side name. Oh, uh, maybe yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, maybe next year, the year after that, something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. So I think this is awesome. I can't wait for this to come out. I will actually go to the movies to see this, even though I have not. I still haven't seen Spider Man and Wonder Woman in the movies. Uh, and Same. I, and, I, and I just saw uh, that horrible uh, DC villain movie. Like, oh, Justice! Uh, ju- no, no, not, not Justice League. League. I said villains, man. Villains. What oh, is? Sorry, it? you can't even think of the name of it. I get, that's how bad it was. Uh-huh. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. I was gonna say Suicide Sinister Sticks, but that's that's no, Marvel. No, yeah, it is very much Marvel. So. Uh, I, I can't, you know, I don't know. I'm actually going to see Jigsaw in the movie theater. Mm-hmm. I love, like, I love fall. Like, I love Halloween. That's good. It's a, I love it's a wonderful Thanksgiving season. and then winter with Christmas. Like, that is my mm-hmm. favorite time. The start, oh, of, yeah. start of a football. Well, the real football. Chris? Real football. That's right. American that's, football. Well, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Real football. Uh-huh. Yeah. What? That starts so semi in the summer because it starts in September. Well, sure. Sure, sure. The fall starts in the middle of September. Sure. Technically, football right. started last week with the Cowboys uh, yes. beating the Cardinals in the, the preseason, yeah, which no fine. one cares about. They, they, they can have their little win. They can I have know. their little Giants, win. Giants, baby G Man. That's right. Bleed so, blue. Yeah, there we go, baby. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we definitely can't wait for October 27th. The, the media bonanza is going to be uh, pretty great and uh, probably going to take a big toll on our wallets. <laughs> so, um,. That's episode 81 in, in the books. Uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, sticking with us, for, uh, for being a fan and uh, interacting with us on the, on the social media. You guys can find us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google Plus at Rated G for Gamers. And uh, you can always email us at ratedgforgamers at gmail.com. Uh, so please like, listen, subscribe, and... 
As always, keep gaming.